Hello, welcome to week five of Newcomer English Language Learning for Elementary School. My name is Miss Lewis. I'm very excited to practice and learn with you today. We're going to be doing day one. And we're practicing the letters A K E when they make the sound ache. Then we're going to look at vocabulary and read Roberto's Morning. We're going to write and say things that he does in his morning. And then we're going to talk about what we do too, matching some vocabulary. Let's get started. So today we're focusing on three letters, A, K, E. There are lots of words that have these letters. Let's look at them again. Repeat after me. When I touch my nose, I say the name of the letter. A, K, E. Very good. When we see these three letters together, they make the sound ache. Repeat after me. Ache. Good. We can put lots of different letters in front. Let's look at some examples. Here's A-K-E with a W in front. Repeat after me. Wake. Good. When a person has to wake up, that means they were sleeping. <gasps> wake up. My eyes are open. Wake. My next word is take, with a T in front. Repeat after me. Take. Good. Take is when one person has something and a different person takes it away. Look it. This hand will take the apple. Take. Here's another word with an M in front. Make. Repeat after me. Make. Good. Make is when we build something new or we cook some new food. Another word has an R in front. That is rake. Rake. Good. In this picture, you can see people will move the leaves, they will rake the leaves. This word has two letters in front, an S, N, for the word snake. Repeat after me, snake. Good! Can you see this long animal here with no legs? Now let's read all of the words one more time together. Wake, take, make, rake, snake. Good. All of these words have A, K, E, the ache sound. Now, I will read the sentence. You can read it after me and find the picture. You can point or circle the picture. Number one, I will take an apple for lunch. Your turn to read. Good, which picture shows someone take an apple? Yes, good job. Number two, I will make a bowl with clay. You read it. Which picture shows someone make a bowl with clay? Yes, this one. Good job. Now let's do number three. I will rake the leaves. Your turn. Good. 
Which picture shows someone rake the leaves? Yes, here. I will rake the leaves. Number four. I will wake up. Your turn to read. Good. Which picture shows someone wake up? Very good. Number five. I will find a snake. Your turn. Which picture shows a snake? Yes, I will find a snake. Good job using the letters A, K, E for the sound ache. Let's look at some vocabulary about our day. This has the A-K-E you saw. Repeat after me. Wake up. Good. Someone can sleep and wake up with their eyes. Wake up. Here is a woman who's going to, it says, brush my teeth. She will cl clean her teeth with a brush. Repeat after me. Brush my teeth. Good. Here's another one. It says, wash my face. Repeat after me. Wash my face. Very good. This one says, comb my hair. Repeat after me. Comb my hair. Excellent. In this picture, it says, eat breakfast. That's what we do in the morning. Repeat after me. Eat breakfast. Very good. And one more. This one says, say goodbye. Repeat after me. Say goodbye. Excellent. For all of these, there are different things and movements we can do. Let's try it. I will say one of the words and you do the movement. If I say, wake up, you can do this. If I say, brush my teeth, you can do that. Wash my face, comb my hair, eat breakfast, say goodbye. Good. Please do the movement for wash my face. Yes, very good. Now brush my teeth. Yes, good job. One more. Wake up. Excellent. Now I will do the movement and you say the word. What is this? Yes, comb my hair. Very good. What is this? Yes, say goodbye. Excellent. And one more. What is that? Yes, eat breakfast. Excellent. Now let's read our book, Roberto's Morning. First, Roberto wakes up in the morning at 7.30 a.m. Next, Roberto combs his hair. Last, Roberto eats breakfast. Very good. 
We saw three things Roberto does in the morning. You can read the book again. Now, let's do some activities. This one says, you are going to tell about your day, three things that you do. First, I wake up at 8 o'clock a.m. And here's the picture. Next, what do you do? Let's use our vocabulary to help us. Do you brush your teeth, wash your face, comb your hair, eat breakfast, or say goodbye? For me, next, I wash my face. So in my paper, I put next, I wash my face. Very good. Last, what do you do? I eat breakfast is what I write on mine. You can do something different. Write what you do in the morning using our vocabulary. Great job. And we can talk about in the morning and now you can read your sentences out loud. Excellent. Now it's time to be done and look over our vocabulary again. Here are our sentences and here are pictures. I will give you time to read the sentence, then I will read it and you can read it again to find the picture. Ready? You read number one. My turn. Roberto wakes up at 7.30. Which picture shows this? You can point or circle. Yes, good job. Number two. You read it. My turn. Roberto combs his hair. Which picture? Yes, Roberto combs his hair. Number three, you read it. My turn. Roberto eats his breakfast. Which picture shows this? Yes, good job. You looked at lots of words with A-K-E, like the word wakes. You studied lots of different vocabulary for what people do in the morning. You read a short story and you talked about your day. Excellent job, I'm very proud of you. I'll see you later. This is where I say goodbye.